Hey everyone, John Moran here again with Solutions 8, and today we're gonna to be discussing how to import form data into Google Ads. Now, it doesn't mean the completed forms, like did they complete the form or not, but if your form has multiple selections or a type of selection that you want to achieve more of, uh, I'm gonna show you how to build that goal in analytics and then import that goal into Google Ads so that you can see if someone selects A versus B, you can measure against A and push with B. So let's get started. So I'm gonna hop into uh, the client's account. Now you're gonna see a blurred, you'll see the term unsecured debt over and, uh, above 10K and below 10K. And that's all I really can share with you about this client right here. But what I wanted to share with you is how we made these goals and how we're importing them. So if we hop over to the uh, Google Analytics of the client, you can see that if I just type in form submission, because you we have more goals in this, but I'm consolidating it to the view, you can see that we have a few different goals. And the only ones that we're gonna be using is the below 10 grand and the above 10 grand. And we are working for this client to achieve above $10,000 goal completions. And so we only are recording, you know, did they choose they have less than $10,000 in debt or over $10,000 in debt and then measure against each other. And it seems to be working. We have 232 people with above 10,000 in debt, 73 below. Um, these are much more monetizable. So again, we want to generate the type of leads that we want. So if we look inside of the form submission goal, the way that we set this up is we used a custom goal setup. The goal uh, description is a form submission, unsecured debt, above 10,000 and we made that an event. And in the goal details, you can see that we have a regular expression that goes up to 14,999 and above 15,000. So this is actually more like above $15,000 in debt um, rather than above $10,000 in debt. But again, the reason why we call it above 10 is because we just haven't updated the name. Um, so what's nice about this is the category equals to unsecured debt selection. And so that's the item on the um, on the line item on the form, the field that they're going to be selecting. And then when that label is this number or above using a regular expression, this is the below and above. When it's above that level, then it gets counted as this is what they chose. If we look at the other one here, we look at the other one here below 10,000, we can see that we did the same thing. We just used a uh, label equals to 99999. So it says, does it, uh, is it coming? up to, is, does anything equal up to 9999? So this would be the below 10,000. So when we have the same exact uh, line item, the same field, and then we say if it's, you know, one up to 9999, that is a goal of below 10 grand. Now, when we look inside of our account, we can see that this uh, debt consolidation ad group, or is our campaign, we can see that we've generated actually 451 offer completions, 273 of them were above 10,000, 163 were below 10,000. And so what we're looking at is, well, that's all of the conversions, but what are the conversions that we're tracking? We're only counting this um, conversion action as what we're gonna be basing all of our bid adjustments on, our automated bidding strategies, our you know demographic adjustments, all of that's gonna be based on what is the good. And what's nice is since we do have um, you know, a thousand clicks and 451 um, uh, conversions, it's actually more like a 45% conversion rate. But when we're only counting the good, we actually have a 27% conversion rate. So thinking about this, like it's, you have a thousand clicks and 451 leads, only 273 are highly monetizable. We have a $32 cost per good lead and 27% conversion rate on the good leads. So this is what we, this is a very important distinction here. So when we say, listen, we want to make all of our adjustments on people who fail to form a specific way, this is how you build that goal, import that goal, measure against that goal, and optimize towards that goal. This is all using a form submission. So you can have people that, um, let's say you work with you know, um, financial planners, and you have a campaign running that is for financial planners, and people are wanting to um, you know, work with over $100,000 a year. Well, that's, that's a goal that you can place on your form. So it's like, what's your first name, your last name, your email, your phone number? Uh, what amount of finances will you be planning with me? <laughs> I don't know what language they use. Well, what amount of finances will you be planning with me? Well, if they say zero to 50, okay, we're gonna bid less for those. 50 to 100, maybe a little bit more. And anything over 100 plus, what ad groups, what keywords, what ads, what campaigns, what landing pages, what is the um, 
what is the campaign running that is delivering you those good leads and only measure against those because that's what you're gonna base all of your conversion rate optimizations uh, for. So this is a way to identify how you can take the good form completions, measure against those, and then optimize towards those. And it's a really simple way to include and exclude these. And what you can do is either in tools and settings, in conversions, go to the um, this toggle here. So below 10,000, we are not including those in conversions. Above 10,000, we are, oops, where's the other one here? Oh. Yeah, that's right. So for this one, we're actually showing that we're not inside of the campaign. We are, though. Um, this is just something that's different. So this is a way that you can completely kill it. And then inside the campaign, I'll go back here. Inside the campaign, we're choosing the conversion actions for this campaign, uh, unscrewed it above 10,000. So you can kill it either from the, uh, from the conversions or if you want to use it only for a specific campaign, which is what we are using now, you can choose it from the conversion level here. So maybe we got a little mixed up there. I'm not good on video, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, so that is a way for you to really start to identify, you know, if you have good leads that are coming in versus the bad leads that are coming in. Now, you're going to look at this and say, well, I have 100 conversions. How many of those 100 conversions are good? You can actually see inside of Google Ads what conversions were good, what were bad, what the good ones costed you, what all of them costed you. And then you can set your KPIs, say, I only want to pay $50 for the good ones. Now, I don't want to pay you know, $50 for all of them. I only want to pay $50 for the good ones. Well, you can start to use bidding strategies in order to optimize for the specific goal that you're measuring against. And that's what they fill out on the form. And you can see age, sex, location, household income, marital status, all the good demographics and audiences and psychographics that you can imagine uh, and measure against those, those users. So... If this is a good tip for you today, um, please like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff that we like and uh, keeps, us, uh, keeps us active on here. So thanks so much.